Thank you for inviting me on your channel. I, on your channel, it's not for your channel. I just realized that. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> just kidding. It's gonna be there. No, 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 no. I'm an entrepreneur. I have to be like a boss. No, but be yourself. Don't be a boss. Hi everyone, this is Joanne. My Chinese name is Zhuang Yan. Zhuang is my dad's name, Yan is my name. We write Yan, left side is a girl, and the right side is happy, so together is gorgeous. <laughs> I am yoga and dance instructor, entrepreneur, performing artist. At this moment, I'm a hula hoop artist in Alegria Cirque du Soleil. I came from Dalian, it's north east. China. My parents decided to stay in this city. It's four season weather and it's beautiful, surrounded by ocean. It's nice for living. When I was five years old, my mom sent me to a dance school to develop my talent. At nine years old, I went to Dalian Acrobatic Trip of China. My mom sent me to learn acrobatic and performing arts, the physical movement, because I got sick very often when I was a kid. So she wants to build my strengths on my body. That's why my parents sent me to do acrobatics and they want me to see the world. We have to wake up at 6.30 and to running with the group, start cardio training, and then after we do breakfast and then we do ballet class, bar, and after we have flips class, tumbling, and when I speak English, I feel my voice like, I feel like I close my voice to hear and relax. Namaste. Lunch time, take a nap, and then afternoon, we have flexibility class. Five o'clock, we end of our entire day of training. We start to study from six to eight for two hours, English, math, Chinese. Based on your personal talent, then the coach selected me for hula hoops, as you can see. And also I do rolling candles, 108 real candles on my hands, my toes, and my mouth. And I do the carpets, use my toes to do different poses, use my physical body movement and to make um, acrobatic skills. So I was lucky selected by one of the entertainment company in Las Vegas. She came all the way to China seeking a multi-talent performers. Then I joined her production. We create a show together and show people oriental culture. We did many theater shows uh, in United States and also Canada. And after I decided to Cirque du Soleil open casting audition. So in 2015, I did my first the opening casting call in Las Vegas in 2016 in New York. Both time I got their potential paper, but uh, we don't have a role that time to give me yet. So I decided to stay in New York to pursuing my career. Actually, there's a one song, it's called like, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere, that's what they say. So, New York is kind of a dream place. It's a big apple, guarding all the talented people. It's a very inspired city, and my base in New York right now, I stayed for six years. I did my first off-Broadway show. That's the reason I decided to stay in New York. And the first off-Broadway show is called Double Day. I did a few Broadway production events. I was modeling for H&M and working with some pop singers, G. Bowen. It's a Columbia singer. He's very dope. Anything can happen in circus. <laughs> there's a ball almost dropped on my body. Because always I feel like uh, if there's no role for you, you just create your own things. Also, I created my own dance studio, YZ Performing Arts Center, RSC. I created this community for young professionals who's working in different industry than us. And 15 minutes to tap back to. <laughs> this is like really disturb my mind. Even during pandemic, we still keep the classes online and to give students a chance to do something. And it's amazing platform for them to get uh, connected with all these professional teachers. 
during pandemic, I moved to LA. I decided to stay in West Coast with the beach. <laughs> That's like kind of my dream life. So I moved to LA and while I drive to Vegas and work like during the weekday and I teaching on the weekend. So I'm kind of traveling a lot at that time, four or five hours one way. I'm not kidding, every day driving. I lost my first car. It's beautiful blue sport shape Toyota XLE. It was my baby, and I was so sad after I joined Circa, so the car. But yeah, next one is better. <laughs> Senior casting director write me, just say, hey, we're looking for this act, but they didn't say which show. And I saw the video, I was like, this is, it didn't leave. 10 minutes to talk back to you. <laughs> I saw her video since I was a kid, and it's incredible. At that time, I, when I was a kid, I feel like it's my idol. This is a good location to film this interview. So I received the video from the senior casting director, and I rent the studio for three hours. I learned the choreography. I filmed it myself uh, while I was training. Actually, I, I, I remember I filmed the first three times, but I submitted the first time. Because the first time, I literally filmed myself in this position, this act. And then after, I have a really great energy and tell my best friend to say, I think I probably can get this role. The casting director one day write me and just say congratulations, this is how those years you keep doing, you keep working on, and then you got this role, and it was my birthday. 30 years old birthday. 30, guys! So never give up, okay? Keep going, you will make it happen. And finally, the little me was sing. And actually, in September 28th will be my two years anniversary in Cirque du Soleil. Congratulations. Thank you. Honestly, at the beginning, I wasn't confident at all. I just follow what I have to do on stage, like what my physical movement tells me to do, but it's not who I am. So at this moment, after two years, I've been performing for almost more than 600 shows. I find myself and I learn myself a lot of growth and then I find growth, gross, <laughs> gross. <laughs> I find myself at discovery myself and I learn myself as well. I can confident to tell people who I am and what I'm doing for this show. Tour life is hard. You have to sacrifice a lot. Sometimes we stay hotel like whole time. We couldn't enjoy normal life. And also our schedule is totally different than most of the holiday time we're working. But I'm still grateful because uh, I know this period of time is very short for as an artist. It's a grateful journey for us to explore every country, every city to learn their culture and to get connected with great people. My friends on tour, so it's really amazing, but at the same time, it's balance. We are places to tap back to. At this moment, we have ten shows per week. I maintain my body. I do yoga to have a proper warm up every day before the show. Also, I teach yoga twice a week after the show to helping people cool down their body. I do my personal strength training right away after my number. How many do I eat usually? Yeah. Sometimes two meals, sometimes three meals. I love noodles. People gave me a nickname, Princess Noodles. I'm no makeup, you should have filmed You look me. amazing. <laughs> Here you are real. No. <laughs> yes. No, yes. Uh, I can I can tell you the destiny. <laughs> don't look, this. look. You guys are crazy. No, we want to have a real uh, interview. Mm -hmm. We know that you are funny and you're real the way you are. We don't want to... Just the way you are. 
Every show we have a different audience. They come from actually everywhere. Even in Japan, we have uh, so many foreigners from international traveling to this city and just come to see our show. This has inspired me a lot. Always wants to give myself the best version to front of people. So most of us to pay 120% energy in their own number and to show their best version. The connection between me and the audience is the best part that I love to keep myself on stage. A lot of uh, kids came to us and to tell us um, they want to do same thing like we do and they keep practice at home and it's amazing to inspire new generation and to bring this joy, love and harmony, all the great feeling to people who are watching us. That's my best friend, he's real, real, he's a drug For artists, the most, the most important part is the confidence. And the second part is the wow, is the skill. Always surprise people, surprise. And then third part is the connection between you and the audience. I really enjoy who I am today and also I feel all the past experience made who you are today. Every step of your life journey is about you. So if you realize something wrong, so just change right away. Getting a better version of yourself. Probably I got retired. I have my own business, I have two kids. Have a house next to Santa Monica. <laughs> my parents healthy, my family members healthy, my cat healthy, everybody happy. A thousand of journeys start with a single step. When there's no stage for you, where there's no door open for you, try to create a on your own. Sometimes is not the specific role or, or the specific person they are looking for, but it's not means like you are not good. Always remember that. And keep doing what you do. If you keep doing one thing in 10 years, you will see what happens. We love you so much.